Well, this is part two of our attempt to leave Milos Island. We're going out today as the weather's fairly calm. When we get out of the bay here, we've got two choices. East towards Poliegos, which is three hours, or dash straight north up to Seraphos, which is approximately five or six hours. It all depends on what we see when we get out there. But before we left Milos, we had to get the boat ready. Down pat now, aren't we? Cleaning the boat. <laughs> We've been anchored here just outside Adamas Port area on the Greek island of Milos for nearly a month now and pretty much every day we've had a constant blow of wind from the north. It's the Aegean Sea and the Meltemi wind blows pretty constantly. But today, this morning, it's now eight o'clock in the morning and the wind has died away to nothing and left this beautiful sight. But also, um, it's allowed some clouds to form and a kind of mist, it's quite pretty. The water is crystal clear and we can see our anchor chain wandering off into the distance. Our solar panels provide us with 600 watts worth of energy and usually by 9.30 in the summertime our batteries are back up to 100% fully charged. Well it's currently 9.04 in the morning and our batteries are at 88.5% so that tells me that there's something wrong with our system and I'm going to bet my bottom dollar that they simply need cleaning. Much dirt? Filthy dirty! <laughs> Let's see. Well, while that clean isn't perfect, it's a heck of a lot better than it was. And when we go into the harbour here at Adamas in Milos, we'll fill up our water tanks and when we've got the hose pipe out, we'll actually get a brush and fresh water sprayed all over that to give it a real good clean before we head north. But that's good for today. It must be a Wednesday because behind me is the Celestial cruise ship and she's just come into the bay and is about to drop anchor. We're about to do some stuff too. Today is the day we are going alongside and we're going to top off our diesel and fill up our water tanks. We're down to our last 70 litres of water, so we've got to put 600 litres in the tanks. And also, after we've washed ABC with salt water, give it a rinse off with fresh water. So we better crack on with that. But before we do any of that, I want to say a big welcome aboard to Heather and John Drummond, AKA the old travel bums who are our latest patrons. Thank you very much you two. Your support is really appreciated in making this journey of ours sustainable. We'd just tied up side two when a ferry arrived and its wake threatened to push us against the dock. 
So Baz, the fuel man, the guy from the port and a really helpful granddad used the boat hooks and pushed ABC away from the dock as far as possible. Luckily she wasn't damaged, but it was a bit unnerving. Good morning, it's 25 past 7 this morning and we've made a really quick snap decision to up anchor and leave while there is a break in the wind. We're only going to Polyagos Island which is about a three hour passage but we just want to get there while the wind is as low as it's hopefully going to be and then we can drop anchor in a sheltered place. So we'll see you when we get there. Alright, step by for deploying the main. Damas Harbour at the Greek island of Milos and we're headed out into the water. We were not sure exactly what we were going to see but um, it's not too bad. I mean there's a big swell. Uh, we've got 16 knots of apparent wind but it's coming dead out of the north. And the wind kept increasing first to 22 knots and then as we came out of the Milos Kimilos Straits the wind increased to 30 to 35 knots on the port bow. At this point we'd furled in our sails and we motored the last half hour towards Polyagos. Because of the wind strength and direction and the size of the waves we got fairly wet. We arrived at Polyagos at 11 o'clock after a three and a half hour passage and anchored in 8 metres with 40 metres of chain out. There was some shelter from the Meltemi and there wasn't too much of a swell in the bay. The following morning we decided that rather than sit out the next few days of wind in this small isolated bay, we'd return to Milos, as we'd have the wind behind us and we knew that the holding and shelter in Adamas Bay was good. Well this is part two of our attempt to leave Milos Island. We're going out today as the weather's fairly calm. When we get out of the bay here, we've got two choices. East towards Poliegos, which is three hours, or dash straight north up to Seraphos, which is approximately five or six hours. It all depends on what we see when we get out there. Baz? Yeah? The seizing wire's broken on the um, anchor shackle. Right, okay. Um, well, if you take the helm, yeah. point it out, you have to replace it. Okay. You know, when we left um, Milos the other day to come north, we had passages interrupt us <laughs> because of the weather. 
We only got to first base out of about four or five islands that we were hoping to go to, to get to Athens. So we went back to Milos because it was really big waves and big wind, wasn't it? Ben? Yeah. But today, we escaped Milos. <laughs> Not that it was, you know, a horrible place to be. Not at all. But we finally made it out. And five and a half hours later, we are in Seraphos. Seraphos. Yes. So that's five and a half hours further north, yes. which is good. We had, what, 15 to 18 knots of wind almost on the nose. Yeah, so we, we didn't get much sailing in, no. but, um, you know, we got a little bit in. Yeah. But we knew we were going to have to motor uh, most of the way because we're heading north into the wind. As yep. Simple as that. Yeah. Uh, where we are here on the south coast of Seraphos, we're in a bay, it's quite a big bay, mm. but unfortunately only the eastern section of the bay is available for anchoring. The western section of the bay has got a lot of chains on the floor from, looks like some sort of mining industry in the past has been there and mm. they've left a lot of debris. Mm. So that's sort of not a good idea to anchor over there. We dropped in uh, six meters, mm -hmm. we've let out 40 meters of chain mm -hmm. and uh, we're now sitting here nicely tucked against the wind mm. uh, in eight meters of yeah. water. There are violent gusts yes. uh, if the Meltemi's blowing, so it probably wouldn't be somewhere that you'd want to come in big winds. No, this is not a hidey hole from the Meltemi, that is for sure. Yeah. The violent gusts here, if that wind is blowing more than, I would say, more than 30 knots, yeah. Mm, yeah. that's not going to be fun. No. Um, but there's a couple of really nice long sandy beaches and I did notice on the way in that there are a few sort of caves in the cliffs so that might be nice for snorkeling. Yeah, yeah. We might stay here for tomorrow as well because the wind is predicted to be exactly the same as, as it was today and so we know that the day after the wind's going to drop away to almost nothing mm. which means we can motor further north mm. to our next island. Yes because we did notice that even though it wasn't really um, it wasn't a hard passage for us the just that wind and the sort of one 1.5 meter waves did slow us down yeah uh, by about two, uh, well, two knots yeah. yeah so we're here okay. Yep. Time for a beer. Yep. And oh, before we go, just like to say welcome aboard yes. to our latest patron, yeah. Frank Schwartz. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. You're a gentleman. Yeah, lovely to have you on board, Frank. Yeah. He's joined the pool party tier, I think. Oh, pool. Oh, what'd you get for that? That is uh, a credit mention at the end of the videos. Yep. And also a postcard once a month. Lucky fellow. Yeah. And yeah. of course, prior access to yeah. uh, the videos ahead of the yep. general public. And uh, the next tier up, for people that have been liking my little A5 watercolours, get one of those for free. Yeah, well, it's That's included in the tier. Yeah, yep. it's a gift. Yep. Yeah. It is. So if you like that, have a look, check them out, check yep. out the tiers. Because you might find a tier that's just right for you and you'll become part of our family. Yeah, because it's just the two of us. Yeah, we need, we need the love. We do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.